I should open my own body shop. Why does it say apply one template at a time? Oh, that's lacquer. Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're confused why you're seeing me, Bruno and Phil, my V6 MX-5 behind me on another YouTube video, then um, click this link in the description as well and you'll find out what's going on. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Um, Bruno from BDS Motorsport, you invited me on a track day that we're doing tomorrow at Blyton. What's the score tomorrow? What are we doing? Driving around the circuits. Perfect. Thank you very much, Bruno. You've got your Z3, Z3 yeah. and a whole bunch of other customer cars. Yeah, yeah. The reason you're seeing Phil is because my plan for 2022 is to turn Phil into a track car. So we're going to do some work to Phil. We're going to do an oil service. But before that, like the most important thing, we're going to, sorry, we're going to put some, some bonnet vents on Phil. I've got these from Boffy Racing. 132-ish pounds, um, and if you follow the link in the description, you can get 5% off these as well. To begin the process and without actually reading the instructions, we decide to tape up Phil's bonnet, which goes well. I don't think we have enough tape. We could always just do one side, Bruno, and then in the edit, we can just flip it round. You just, yeah? What do you call it? Content aware, Phil? Yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah. Yeah, so Rory behind the camera, he's going to content and wear fill it. So if it looks like there's two vents, it's because he's really good at his job. <clears throat> okay. Um, there's also a few other bits. Rory, if you come to my box of goodies. So we've got the vents, which I think are going to be super cool. Braided lines. Got some really decent uh, PBS uh, brake pads, front and rear. So tomorrow will be the first time that I really figure out what Phil needs. Bruno, it comes with a video tutorial. Yeah, but the, it, that doesn't help. It's a video tutorial. But I'd rather have drawings. With Bruno now fretting about not having drawings, it's time to remove the bonnet and really get cracking. We need to turn the bonnet the other way around. According to the video, you do everything up top. Yes, but we need to get a reference point from the bottom so we don't cut through unnecessary skeleton. I know, but that's why we have that and that's why we have measurements. Okay. Because okay. there's a video that has all, right. all the details. So we have to follow the video steps. If you want to do this at home, then follow the video. Okay, don't be bullied by Bruno, because we don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah? So 200 mil from the very bottom to wherever 200 mil is. Same again on that side, and then tape across. Right, you hold that side, I'll hold this side. And then we'll have nice tension. You got good tension? Yeah, you have good tension, Alex. I used to, not anymore. 37 now. Give me another five days. <laughs> are you going to be 37 in five days? Yeah. Are you? Wow. Funny, isn't it? He's, he's younger than me. Who looks younger? On each side of the tape, measure 90 mil in and mark the tape. Oh no, it's touching the yellow stripe. Oh, oh sugar. Oh, look at my stripe. No longer will be a race car. Now it's time to install the template. The best way to be sure it's done right is by using a vinyl applicator, liquid or, ba or baby soap water. I have Palm Alive. You have what? Palm Alive. Palm Alive. You need to wash your hands. What's Palm, palm Alive? It's like, it's a nice thing, skin. Okay. Like, wash your hands with it. Palm Alive. Yeah. Where's this Palm Alive? This Let's go. brand that no one's ever heard of. Come on. Of course you did. Okay, I, I apparently need to go with Bruno to help him. So, um, <laughs> this soap. Is, this is the, the palm alive. It's, it's palm olive. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> it says olive there, palm olive. Uh. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Wait. Wait. It's really done well with that. Oh my, I've actually just one-timed it. Mm. Oh, look at me. Watch your master at work. Oh. Alex, I'm really that is sad. an actual I'm very really good sad. job. I'm going to lose those stripes. Okay, Bruno, next step. Uh, apply one template at a time. Well, this oh, I've done that. Rough. Why did it say apply one template at a time? 
It's not like any normal human being would try and do two at a time. This is an American product, isn't it? True. Yeah, That's true. true. Hello, America. In the instructions, it says use uh, like stuff like that, like lots of papery, cardboardy stuff. So we're just um, just dousing the blue roll in petrol. Yeah. Because um, it's cheap in UK at the moment. It's cheaper than cheaper than water at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Right, Bruno. Get me the angle grinder. I'm going in, Bruno. <laughs> I've just cut into Phil's very expensive paintwork. I'll poke it out for you. There you go. Don't scratch the paint work, Bruno. Oh. <laughs> if someone does want to win this historic piece of fill, um, then all you need to do is subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. And I will, thank you, Bruno. I will pick a winner at random from the comments underneath this video. I'll grind this all off as well to make it less like killer because this is really dangerous uh, and send it out to one of you guys. because I'm cutting, it's actually moving the template. It's Palm Alive's fault. That brand, Palm Alive, I don't want anything to do with them. Yeah! Oh, I'm so sad that I've gone through Phil's stripes. With Phil's identity being savaged with an angle grinder, Bruno got to work draining the old oil. Also, she's taken off the other side of Phil's bonnet. So again, leave a comment, subscribe to all the places and I will pick out another random winner and send you this memento. I'll even sign it. It's a little bit scratched, but it's not mine anymore, it's yours. Transition. Anyway, the next step of Project Bonnet Vents is to drill pilot holes and rivet everything in place. I should open my own body shop. That is one in. I'll have to see it without all the tape on and stuff. It looks really, really ghetto at the moment, and I'm reconsidering my life choices. Oh, that's lacquer. Yeah. Oh no, it's really come up there. Oh, there's no lacquer left. There's my lacquer. There's my lacquer. Oh, it's so smooth. Don't do that. <gasps> Let's just continue. Oh God, that lacquer peel. Fuck. That looks really bad. But not as bad as the brakes currently on Phil, so let's get started swapping those out too. So you know you've not driven your car properly for a long time when your discs look like this and also the, the backing on the brake pads. Just, just flakes off. But we're getting new pads in, new fluids, new engine oil, the vents, the paintwork. All of Phil's six month old oil has been drained. What was that? Two, two, and, two and a half years? Four, four years? When's the last time, the last time Phil's engine was built at my old house? You haven't changed the oil since then? No. I've not driven Phil. You, oh, except for on, on... You went around a track? I did. It was a baptism of fire for Phil. I had in my head, if you're going to explode now, then you're done, all right? 20 quid, old out your hand, first taker. But he didn't. Oh, that's so good. What isn't good, though, is being mugged off on camera by an overly tight socket. It's, it's holding on. I think it does. It does. Bruno, I'm going to get the angle grinder in a minute. 
<laughs> I'm going to take it off that way. Yeah, I'm sure there's... What, what do you want from me? <laughs> I just want a mechanical... She's upset with you. Right. Okay, my hands are covered in brake fluid. Let me just turn my Oh my god! Yes! <sighs> That's really tight on there. Of course, but it's... When you're working on an engine, you don't want the socket to fall off it, do you? Yeah, but that's like... Yeah. Like, my mum would never be able to get that off. Oh, that's not... Your mum will not be building engines, will she? Well, how do you know? Well, you don't know my mum. And now, here's me getting mugged off by an oil filter. <laughs> I don't know if I've just lost so much strength that I just can't do anything anymore. <sighs> no, it's impossible. That's never coming off. Are you trying to take the oil filter? Yeah. Why didn't you ask for the oil because I never need it. Usually I just pull it off. What do you want from me? What are you zooming in on? Nothing. There's nothing to zoom in on. Have I got something on my face? No. Do you want something on your face? <laughs> so minging. This is the longest thread in the world. Oh, yeah. And here's round two with a bloody socket. It's not really weak today. <laughs> Ow! With all the pads changed, new braided lines installed and fresh brake fluid pumped through, all that's left to do is to put the wheels back on, top up Phil's engine with new oil and reinstall the new look bonnet. Oh, right, so the finishing touch is it's to put Phil's bonnet back, bonnet back on. There we go. Time of the truth. Well, it's only this. The vents are in. There's a little bit of fettling to do. Uh, oil is in. Brakes are done. New brake fluid. It's all good. So tomorrow I will be joining uh, Bruno from BDS and all the boys and see what Phil can really do. See you tomorrow. Okay, so today is the day that I'm at Blyton Park with Bruno from BDS Motorsport and all of his friends and family. As you can see, Phil is behind me. I've trailered up from London to Blyton about four and a half hours. This is the first time that Phil, in his current state, will be going on track. There are a lot of fast cars. I've been told that Bruno in the Z3 is the fastest thing on track currently. It's slightly apprehensive. Don't really want to crash Phil, but you know, rubbing is racing. If, if the worst case happens, then race car. All right, and with that, should we take Phil out, see what happens? Fingers crossed. If I do crash, then I'll set up a Patreon and we can all, we can all chip in together. We'll do safe Phil V2, but this one will actually cost a lot of money. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so as a reminder, Phil is now track car Phil. So if anything bad happens, because race car. Bruno is about to go out, so hopefully I can follow his lines a little bit and then he'll leave me for dead. Okay, Phil, please be good to me. I can't promise I'll be good to you. Should we do this? Let's do this. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> On track for the first time properly in a very, very long time. Tires will overheat very quickly. So I'm hoping to get some um, Nankang NS2Rs on here imminently. Here we go. I don't know this track at all. I just love the way that this V6 just revs out all the way to seven and a half thousand RPM. Oh, this is so much fun already. Right, don't go above my limitations, Alex and Phil. 
Fuel feels great. Suspension feels decent. Come on, this is so good. God. Okay, so we've all slowed down a little bit now. A little debrief. Oh, this engine is just so good. The feeling I get behind the wheel, there's just so much fun to be had. With a few tweaks, this car is going to be incredible. And now a special thanks to the channel's first ever video sponsor, Quadlock. It's a product I've personally been using for over a year now, and I can say without hesitation that these phone mounts are rock solid, super easy to use, and proof that you get what you pay for. To prove just how sturdy they are, here's a flying lap around Blyton where you can see... Actually, you can't see anything because a quad lock mount simply isn't phased. It's just like, ooh, whatever. Anyway, you can get 10% off using promo code AUTOALEX. So do yourself a favor and bag a proper phone mount for your motorbikes and cars that will last you years. Check out Quadlock using the link in the description below. Okay, so as you'll just have seen, uh, I've done about 15 laps in fill, and I have to say, driving this car is so exhilarating. The engine is just the centerpiece of everything. The noise, the power, the torque. It's just so good. It is so good having a V6, having that AJ30 V6 in fill. The things that have made the biggest difference so far that I did with Bruno yesterday were the uh, PBS brake pads, flushing out all the brake fluids, um, the vents, obviously keeping everything nice and cool, but seriously, the braking now is really, really good. If you plan on doing some track stuff, then get yourself a set of those PBS. I've never used them before, never heard of them, but from experience around here, they're really, really excellent. The next thing that has to really go are these um, Cobra bucket seats. I bought them years ago, and they're like 200 quid for both. They're not great. Okay, so I'm hopefully gonna be getting, touch wood, some, um, some Tillet racing seats and Bruno also wants to do a custom exhaust for Phil, just to free up maybe a few more horses. We're going to get Phil on the dyno, see, you know, before and after. But this is very much a, a V1 of things to come on the new channel and on the build of Phil. Anyway, I guess um, all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching my first proper episode and what a great one it was building Phil slightly. Um, I really, really appreciate it if you did subscribe and I will see you next time. Don't know when that is yet. Got to kind of figure that all, all that stuff out, but I'll see you very soon. Goodbye. Transition. Oh. Oh. <laughs>